See, Final Life left a, a good impression on you that you wanted to start a career here. Yes, I mean, I'm from Milwaukee, bigger city. Wanted to get away from that. Final X, not too big, not too small. And it was a great, it's a great community. It really is. And I knew from that point after getting my degree, this is where I wanted to stay. Um, and the rest is history, so to speak. So 25 years on the force here, some moments that stick out at you, special people, all of that. Oh, there's so many. Uh, there really is. Um, as far as the people are concerned, I love working with everybody in my department. I really do. We're one big family, and a lot of people hear that and they say it's just a cliche. No, it's true, because these are the people we spend most of our time with other than our immediate family. And so that is what I'm going to miss the most, okay, is the people I work with. Um, the things that stand out to me, and this might sound like a cliche as well, but it's really the truth. There are so many people victims of families that I've helped throughout the course of my career and to see them either smile or get a little closure being a victim of whatever it is that we were working on at the time. And I'm not gonna go into specifics on individuals, but to see that and to get a thank you from them knowing, hey, I have some closure now because of what you did. That means more to me than anything. Any accolade, any award, that is why I got into this profession to begin with, and to actually have that and see that and experience it means the world. I can believe it. And, you know, there are a few stories that are out there. I'm not sure all of them are true. So, <laughs> but, you know, I like to have fun, and I like to have, I like to have my coworkers laugh. And I actually just, I am out on the streets how I am when I'm at work, you know. And I think um, that's a big thing for new officers getting into this line of work. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be yourself and you're not going to be yourself, people are going to see right through that. And you're going to have a successful career just being yourself, doing what you need to do, helping the people out, and the rest will take care of itself. You know, I started off in patrol like everybody does. I did that for about well, six or seven years on night shift. I was then able to get to day shift for a couple years. Um, from that point, I actually then applied for the school resource officer position, and that was at the high school. And I worked with Detective Bartell he's since retired, and I'll tell you what, I learned so much from that guy. I'm sure. And uh, just a wealth of knowledge, but we had so much fun. And working with the principals and administration there at the high school, John Wilsius was the principal at the time. We had so much fun out there, and we made it a lot of fun, but we got our job done as well, and sometimes I... I couldn't believe I was getting paid to do that job. I really, I really couldn't. Um, I also spent 15 years on a SWAT team, which was very, very rewarding to me. Um, I enjoyed the tactical part of law enforcement. From that point, I then applied for a street crimes position, and I did that for a couple of years, and then I then applied for the MEG position with Lake Winnebago Drug Unit, which I had been doing for the last 10 years. I can tell you right now that position has probably been the funnest and most rewarding position of everything that I've done so far because of so many people that I've been able to help family-wise because as you know, there's a drug problem. There's not just here in Fond du Lac, but in every community across the United States. Yeah. And to be able to help some families of victims of overdoses, um, that is what makes this position so rewarding. And uh, to get a hug from a family member saying thank you for solving this case or helping my son get back on track, that is what I do this. This is why I do this. And uh, But that has been my, and I've been there and I'm gonna finish out as a Meg Unit off investigator and um, that was probably the funnest and most rewarding out of everything I've done so far. Wow, what a career. Yeah, great career, great guy. What about retirement? What's in store? You know, I really don't have any plans. Oh. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of golf, but I'm gonna spend a lot of time with the family. Um, those are probably, and I think every law enforcement officer, and Cammie will attest to it, 
they should be the ones getting the accolades. They should be the ones being recognized because they are the ones that are sacrificing. I go to work, but then they're the ones sacrificing on weekends, on holidays, on nights, on kids' activities. At the shift work when you're held over, all of that, yeah. Right. You know, and yep. so I'm going to spend a lot of time with the family. Um, I'm going to shout out to my wife, yeah, Ellie. Absolutely, please. Uh, she's been a rock and glue, and I love her to death. Um, she is the main reason why I'm able to do and have this successful career in law enforcement. She's the one that kept everything together when I'm working late that night, not coming home for 24 hours due to an investigation. She's got to change her schedule, so, and so I love her to death. Thank you, Ellie, if you're listening to this. Um, she must be a superstar. She can put up with you. <laughs> Absolutely. There's no question about that. I tip my hands for her. So. <laughs> And, you know, shout out to my kids, my two sons and my daughter. I love them to death. Um, they're still in high school, one's in middle school. So I'm going to spend a lot of time watching them grow up in their sporting events and things that they're doing right now. So it's nice to have that uh, ability to, to do that now. City five eight final call. Officer Volts, we want to thank you for your 29 years of service to the citizens of Fond du Lac. You have faithfully served your community with honor, integrity, and professionalism. We'll also, you will always be part of the Fond du Lac PD family. Best wishes for a long, prosperous, healthy, and happy retirement. We are also waiting for your beef stroganoff. 35A beef stroganoff of 76. I just want to thank every county deputy, communications officer, and dispatch, and every city PD patrol officer for doing what they do and putting their lives on the line every day. Do one thing for me, smile every day, look after one another, be safe, and come home to your families every night. City 5-8, 1042.